everybody. Hey everybody, welcome back to Ears First. We are sitting in our room at the Polynesian getting ready to head out the door to go to the Four Seasons. For the first time, we've never actually been on Four Seasons property here at Disney, and tonight we're going to Ravello. Yep. I don't know anything about it. This is exciting. Um, I think Pamela's looked at the menu. I don't remember if I did or not. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to head over there, see what it's all about. I think it's Italian. I might it be wrong. It sounds like Italian. Yeah, we'll Vanilla. see. We'll see. Ravioli. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be a surprise for us. It's not a Disney restaurant. We're not sure what the prices are going to be, but we're going to bring you along so you can be as a surprised as we are. It's four seasons. I'm a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm wearing a polo shirt and she's got a dress on. I so, got a new dress at the Poly. Yeah, she bought that today at the at the <clears> Poly. <throat> so, yeah, we're going to give it a try and hopefully it's good. Yeah. I don't know if this is one that's on the dining plan. I doubt it. I don't think so. Uh, a lot of the ones like Swan and Dolphin, not so much on the dining plan. So yeah. go to Blue Zoo or any of those. Yeah. you don't need to use the dining plan. No, I'm but, pretty sure the Ravello is the same way. Yeah, so we'll ask if there's discounts or anything like that. They might have DVC. I think Swan and Dolphin offers DVC for some reason. Um, yeah, I think you're right. So we'll see if there's DVC or annual pass, and yeah, we'll let you know what we know. So join us. All right, we have arrived at the Four Seasons. Um, it's valet parking only, yes. just so you know. They validate. They validate? They'll validate your oh, okay. parking. Um, so right now we're heading down, I think, to the elevators to get to the restaurant. Um, it's a really nice lobby area. They have a really cool boutique on the ground floor. Uh, there's an ice cream shop, a coffee shop, a bar. So not, not bad. And they also have a Disney gift shop here called Fable, and it looks like they sell all the princess dresses. <laughs> Those are okay. The ground floor is on two, and the restaurant is on level one, so just be aware of that when you get on the elevator. We went up. Okay, so we came back up to or down to one, and um, it had to go outside to get to the restaurant. There may be a way to get in from the entrance, but there we go. That's really cool. So is it just a glass ball with the water going around the outside? Yeah. It's piped up right in the center. It's really pretty. I think the whole ball is actually full of water. It looks like it is. It fills up from the bottom and comes out the top. Yeah. All right. Well, you want to get checked in? Yeah. So they have an interesting backlit menu on the cheapest printed paper I've ever seen. I think it's kind of funny. So we got our seats. They're bringing us some water. And the whole wine list and cocktail list is all on an iPad. Very interesting. But I know this is kind of hard to see, but... And there's the pastas with the price list. So yeah. So I think that is what I'm gonna get. The shell pasta, parmesan, either that or the ravioli. I might Pam will pick for me. I, she thinks she's gonna get the um, tuna, which I don't blame her, that's a good one. Um, that dry aged ribeye sounds great, but you know what? I'm going to Yachtsman later on this week, so. We'll do that, but and the screen is so weird for the camera. It turns it blue. It's actually a white background. I don't know if I can adjust that or not. That's a little better. But yeah, it's actually a white background, not that blue that you guys are seeing. But there's Pamela. Hi, Pamela. That's the restaurant. It's there's a lot of outdoor seating too. So if it was a couple degrees warmer today, I think we would sit outside. Yeah. And, oh, we got to look at cocktails and see what we'd like to get. They got a full bar. So they do a large selection of wines with a glass. All right, so that is what Pamela is getting. Uh, Mainly the because it looks okay. like it has the cherry I like. Yeah. 
And that is what I'm getting. Called the Dark Slide. Um, all the cocktails are $15 each. Mine was 60 Okay. A little pricey. We'll live. So, they do have bread. I'm looking forward to the bread service they have. There's my dark slide. My There's old the old fashioned. That looks good. Yeah. I got a lime. You got a cherry. I'll tell you what, I might try this and then if it's good, I'll let you have it. You pick which one you like better. Okay. Go ahead. Alright, so I'm trying to start with the old fashioned. Smells so good. <laughs> That's really good. Alright. The dark slide. Yeah? I think I like this one more. Alright. You try. See what you think. Alright. Old fashioned. I think we'll probably like the old fashioned more. It's got a stronger taste to it. Good, right? Oh, that is so good. Dark slide. <laughs> That is very sweet, but here, I'll take the old-fashioned. Right. I do like <laughs> So that's an appetizer, but I think I'm going to leave. Um, <laughs> they don't have any sort of bread service. They have a tomato thing that you can order. Oh, wow. Well. A tomato thing. But this is the calamari. As you can see, there's, there's our dead squid. And some potatoes. I'm not sure what else is in there. Oh, there it is. So it's grilled instead of fried. So this would be interesting. I love calamari. So, I'm excited about this. The dessert, it's gone. Or the appetizer is gone. Dessert. Flying right through yeah. you. Yeah. Um, what'd you think? <coughs> cough, cough. Um, <laughs> I liked it. I thought it was good. But I can't really taste much right now. Yeah. Um, I thought it was good. It was a bit salty. Um, it's not going to be for everybody because it is a bit jiggly, uh, squishy, uh, slimy. <laughs> um, but I knew what I knew what to expect. I thought it would be a little drier, um, but yeah, it's almost like handling a fresh squid. It's um, got that little seafood sliminess to it. So. I feel like sushi, I kind of think. Yeah. Like it. But it was good. A little salty for me, though. But bring on the main course. Alright, so in case you were wondering what I was showing you up over in here, that's um, a case with the fresh pasta in it. Um, as we were talking about our appetizer. But yeah, that's all the fresh pasta in, inside there. Really cool. Alright, so the entrees are here. Um, this is mine, and it's very small portions. So be prepared for that, for what you're paying for with pasta. These are small portions. Um, but they did offer to add shrimp to mine. I'm sure it's a little pricey to do, but... That's Pamela's ravioli. It smells so good. It looks really good. So we're going to try this out. We'll let you know how it is. So mine has veal and spinach in it. Yeah. And then it's in a mushroom and uh, Parmesan sauce. Yeah, mine comes vegetarian, but they offered to add a protein to it. So I went with shrimp, but they offered chicken as well. All right, so they've already taken my plate. There's Pamela's plate. Make it quick. Uh, entrees were delicious. Yeah. So like I said, she came up and picked up the uh, plate. The entrees were... Excellent. Best part of the meal so far. Yeah, it was really good. Nice. Still upset about the bread service. I'm not going to let that go. As much as you're paying for everything, you know, it's an Italian restaurant, modern Italian, but some, I'm, I'm sure they can really do up a good garlic knot here. So we probably won't get anything. Well, we might, I don't know. But there's the dessert menu. Again, the entrees were great. The food, the food was excellent. Yes. Twelve dollars for tiramisu. Oh. So yeah, I think we might just get the bill and go get dessert elsewhere. Okay. I don't know how to change the exposure on this. You don't need to. But anyhow, it's really dark, sorry. But this is the Four Seasons Resort. Um just over here is where we went in and it takes you into like a staircase entrance. The conference center is on the left. We went to the right to the elevator bank, but I think you could just go down the stairs because um, it is on the first floor and you enter on the second floor. And if we didn't mention, it is valet only. You can't see Jake over there, but he's there. 
anyway yeah um, it's valet parking only um so just keep that in mind if you're coming over here you may want to uber over if you don't want to have to pay for a valet all right so we're here in our one bedroom suite at the contemporary bay lake tower um but we haven't done the follow-up or the final product for uh Ravello. we wanted to give it some time we wanted to think about it and kind of think about you know what we did and didn't like about it because there was a little both because the food itself was excellent i thought mm -hmm. uh, especially the main course it was great but the for the price you're paying the portions were tiny um I, f I feel like for the same price or even less you can go to trattoria there at the boardwalk and get the same quality food for a lot less yeah um they described themselves as a modern italian um uh, i'm still upset there was no bread uh, <laughs> um i'm sure the the dry edge steak that they offer i'm sure it's great but i didn't go there you know if i want a good steak i'm gonna go to the yachtsman i'm not gonna go to the italian restaurant at the four seasons but i don't know what what do you think um the pasta the quality of the pasta dishes were it was very good mm -hmm. um obviously they know how to make pasta and they know how to cook pasta um the portion sizes were small the cocktails were good yes but they were pricey um more expensive than disney prices for drinks yeah uh you're looking at 16 bucks for a $12 drink at any of the Disney resorts or it would have been 10 bucks on the cruise. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, the inside of the restaurant, it was, you kind of, I think, got it right. It felt like it should have been a nightclub yeah. instead of a restaurant. Yeah. They they had the music they were playing, the dim lights. It, it really had more of a nightclub feel to it than a, a, a restaurant and... I don't know, it, it just didn't feel as comfortable as it should have, I guess. Um, I would say if I'm not staying at the Four Seasons, I wouldn't go out of my way to uh, go over to Ravello. No, especially for the prices you're paying there. I mean, that was well over $100 for um, two entrees, one appetizer, and two drinks. Right, and... For pasta dishes, that's way too much. The fact that it is a mandatory ballet yes. for parking... That, that kind of irritated me. Um, I was able to self-park myself since I have the handicap placard. But I pull up and they're like, I asked, it's, is this mandatory valet? And they said, yeah, but you can get validated inside. They're still milking you for tip money. Um, I mean, regardless, you've got to pay something for the valet. And I didn't appreciate that too much. And the guy was, uh, he was polite to me, but I could tell he was visibly irritated because... The, he was out of tip money right there because I didn't want someone driving my vehicle. I don't, I don't do valet. <laughs> so, um, other than that, I mean, like I said, the food was good. The atmosphere was kind of meh. <laughs> it's way overpriced for what it is. They, they've priced it in accordance with the clientele that they have staying in the Four Seasons. That is true. That is true. But it's... I mean, it's still a restaurant that's on Disney property. It's one of the ones you can book through the My Disney Experience app. And, you know, again, for an Italian restaurant serving, even though it's, um, it, it appears like it's fresh-made pasta, they make it in-house, which is great. Again, uh, the cheapest plate they had was 20 bucks, and that was for spaghetti mm -hmm. with nothing special. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, a small portion of spaghetti is not worth 20 bucks to me. And the fact that you're paying more than you typically pay at any of the other resorts on property. Yeah. And um, they don't offer any kind of discount. No. So that was a little bit different for us. Yeah, no discount, no DVC. There was no annual pass, no nothing, no discounts whatsoever. She said they're working on it, I guess. But they've been here how long? They could, they could have worked on it by now. Our server was really nice. Though. Yes, um, she was great. Everything we picked was a fantastic choice. <laughs> we're really good at ordering yes um we picked all her favorites apparently um but yeah it's not one that i'm gonna be rushing to go back to i mean i i highly suggest go try out trattoria if you want some good italian go to epcot go to italy you can get some good italian food there um don't it, go to tony's don't go to tony's town square um unless you want some chef boyardee 
Oh, quality food. <laughs> um, but the view at Tony's is great during the parade. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for us for Velo. Um, it was great. If it's if that's something you want to do, if you want to spend the money for it, it's you know, the food was good. But you can get a better portion, a cheaper price, and even a better atmosphere at Trattoria. Or uh, via Napoli or via Napoli, however you want to pronounce it, they're in Epcot. Um, you can do the pizzas and everything because they had pizzas there too. They're 18 bucks, and I'm sure they're, I saw them tossing them. They're about yay big, maybe big as my head, which is got a big head. So, but they were looking for like 20 bucks for a pizza from that. So, um, yeah, go to Epcot, go to Trattoria over the boardwalk, and I'm sure there's some other ones I'm not thinking about. Oh heck, Disney Springs. <laughs> um, you got, uh, Carolina. Yeah. Ooh, you got Mount Mama Melrose at Hollywood Studios too. That's true. That they were surprisingly good. So uh, you have a ton of um, you know Italian choices where you're not going to be breaking the bank as much as you are there. You know, two people can get out for less than a hundred bucks. So um, that's my opinion. Do you have anything else? No. No. All right. So that'll do it for us for Ravello. Um, if that's up your alley, give it a try. I doubt we'll be going back. So, thanks for watching yours first, and we hope to see you again real soon.